Hello and welcome to the Fort Report. I'm Alicia Woodruff. And I'm Chris Conley. Before we get started, we just wanted to make sure our citizens knew that Fort Worth's natural gas drilling air quality study is complete. The good news is that the study didn't find any significant health threats. The bad news is that the report is thousands of pages long. Anyway, you can view the report on the city's website. Check it out. Many folks this summer aren't home because school's out. It's a tough time for job hunters everywhere, but the city of Fort Worth is blazing some new trails when it comes to preparing residents for employment. The new eSkills Library and Job Center is now open at 2800 Stark Street in the east side. Previously known as the Meadowbrook Branch Library, the new eSkills facility will continue to operate as a library, but with a new twist. Its new focus will be on providing job-related services and materials. What a cool idea, right? Available services include a targeted collection of books, CDs, and DVDs available for checkout on resume writing, interviewing techniques, test books, and other job-related resources. There are new computers, an early literacy workshop, and the library will be hosting job-related classes covering job search techniques, interviewing tips, computer skills, and much more. Check the city's website for hours or call the eSkills Library at 817-392-6621. Are you thirsty? Well, it sounds like we're thirsty in Fort Worth. In fact, Fort Worth water customers used a record amount of water during the month of June. Over 8 billion gallons. <coughs> Was that necessary? Mm, the spit takes a lost art. According to the National Weather Service, this was the third hottest June on record in the Metroplex. We at the Fort Report want to encourage everyone to use water wisely. If current trends hold, Fort Worth may reach the trigger points for drought plan restrictions later this summer. Water reservoirs are at about 80% of their capacity. Once that capacity drops to 75%, stage one restrictions will take effect, including limiting outdoor watering to no more than twice a week for each customer. We can delay how quickly we reach that trigger by being efficient with the water we use, like not spitting it out. At least none of it came on my nose. Like that time in first grade in Ms. Robinson's class. Get the best tips for saving water at www.savefortworthwater.org. Hey, did you hear that July 23rd is National Day of the American Cowboy? Yeah, and it sounds like the Fort Worth Stockyards are going to be celebrating in Fort Worth fashion. Where's my hat? This annual event has been named the best event of its kind in the nation by Western Lifestyle Magazine, American Cowboy. So, don't miss out on a day dedicated to the cowboy. The fun will begin at 10 a.m. on July 23rd. There will be a Texas size art contest, cowboy celebration parade, watermelon eating contest, and I know Chris will be looking forward to the best mustache contest. All this and much more will take place along East Exchange Avenue in the Fort Worth Stockyards. Call 817-625-9715 for more details. I think there should be a contest for the best cowboy sayings. Our outgoing Mayor Mike would definitely win that one. I love those Moncriefisms. I loved when he would say, well, pick my peas and we're not gonna spit that bit, and that's pretty tall cotton. Yeah, I liked, if it ain't chicken, it's feathers. What about, there's a burr in my saddle. Yeah, and I'll never forget, I know which side the bread is buttered on. And I always liked it when he would surprise us at council meetings by talking like a duck. <laughs>